So the topic of discussion today is impulse function. Impulse function. Okay. So let's take an example. I equal to minus infinity to infinity x square plus 4 del of x square minus 4 dx. So this is the sum in question we need to solve this and it includes impulse function as well okay so before solving this let's take a look at the impulse function properties so you know del of alpha t is equal to 1 by mod alpha del of t scaling property of impulse put alpha equal to minus 1 del of minus t is equal to del of t proves del of t is an even function x of t del of t minus t naught okay t minus t naught is nothing but x of t naught del of t minus t naught so del of t minus t naught is nothing but del of t shifted by t naught in right side direction so the same goes in case the integral value is there x of t del of t minus t naught but here it's only x of t naught provided t naught lies in the interval given by the limits so t not lies in the interval given by these limits only suppose say there is minus k to plus k x of t del of t minus t naught so this implies x of t naught for minus k less than t naught less than k or else it's zero okay impulse function convolution property this is nothing but x of t minus t naught. So this is very very important and useful property. Now let's take a look at the sum we have written previously. So here we have del of x square minus 4 into dx. So we need to break this in terms of two impulse function. So here comes the new one. So let's say x square minus 4 is nothing but g of x. Okay. So del of x square minus 4 is nothing but del of g of x. So del of g of x can be written as summation del of x minus xi by modulus g dash of x at x equal to xi. Okay. So what does that mean? So we have to apply this in breaking this del of x square minus 4 into summation of two impulse functions so this is valid only if g of x is a continuously differentiable function continuously differentiable function so x square minus 4 being a quadratic equation is continuously differentiable right so continuously differentiable function so now del of x square minus 4 it's nothing but now x square minus 4 can be written as a factored form as x plus 2 into x minus 2 right x plus 2 into x minus 2 so this can be written as del of x plus 2 by what is g dash of x so g dash of x is nothing but 2x right first order differentiation of x square minus 4 is nothing but 2x 2x at x equal to minus 2 so compare these two so x plus 2 is equal to x minus x i mean x i equal to minus 2 that is the root of x plus 2 plus summation plus del of x minus 2 by 2 x at x equal to 2. So del of x plus 2 by putting minus 2 in place of x we, we will get minus 4 and we have modulus value here. So don't forget the modulus don't omit the modulus 2 into 2. So we have got it as one fourth of del of x plus 2 plus del of x minus 2. So we have successfully broken down del of x square minus 4. And this is 4. Is nothing but 0.25 multiplied by del of x plus 2 plus del of x minus 2. Now things become easier. Minus infinity to infinity x square plus 4. Now replacing this del of x square minus 4 as 1 fourth del of x plus 2 plus del of x minus 2. 1 fourth 
del of x plus 2 plus del of x minus 2 okay dx don't forget dx so taking one fourth outside because it has no significance with respect to varying x in the interval minus infinity to infinity being a constant x square expanding this x square plus 4 into del of x plus 2 plus x square plus 4 into del of x minus 2 dx dx minus infinity to infinity i am trying to separate these two okay so one fourth now c x square plus 4 del of x plus 2 into dx so which of these properties will help you evaluating this so this one these both are one and the same x of t del of t minus t naught is nothing but x of t naught so we will write this as minus 2 whole square plus 4 so this entire integral is minus 2 whole square plus 4 plus this entire integral 2 square plus 4 using the previously known property of impulse x of t del of t minus t naught is nothing but x of t naught so this is nothing but x of x square plus 4 at x equal to minus 2 so 1 4 4 plus 4 is nothing but 8 this is also 8 8 plus 8 is 16 so the answer is 4 okay so this value is nothing but equal to 4 now so we have understood that this property is important so now let's take another problem also okay so find the laplace transform find the laplace transform of del of t square minus 3t plus 2 okay t square minus 3t plus 2 now this t square minus 3t plus 2 is nothing but g of x as we have known the previous formula so g of x is nothing but t square minus 3t plus 2 g dash of x is nothing but 2t minus 3 okay now we have to break this thing into two function you know t square minus 3t plus 2 in factored form as t minus 2 into t minus 1 right t square minus t minus 2t plus 2 right t minus 2 into t minus 1 so del of t minus 2 by g dash of x 2t minus 3 at t equal to 2 plus del of t minus 1 by 2t minus 3 at t equal to 1 so del of t minus 2 by 1 plus del of t minus 1 by 1 so del of t square minus 3t plus 2 can be written as del of t minus 2 plus del of t minus 1 okay now we have to find the laplace right so laplace of laplace of x of t i mean laplace of x of t minus t naught is nothing but t power minus st naught into laplace of x of t so laplace of x of t i am denoting with capital x of s okay so e power minus s2 into laplace transform of del of t is nothing but one laplace transform of impulse function is one plus e power minus s into one so this is nothing but e power minus 2s plus e power minus s so the laplace i am denoting this as l of del so del of t square minus 3t plus 2 is nothing but e power minus 2s plus e power minus s okay 